Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to cover a couple of things. Uh, Steam is getting a great update, especially for those of you that play on Steam Deck. It is going to make identifying games that are running on the Steam Deck and just Steam reviews a little bit easier to navigate. We'll talk about that and a lot of excitement around Final Fantasy 16's PC release. Obviously, there is a little bit of concern as far as the PC version. Uh, performance has been criticized quite a bit i believe the demo right now has a mixed reception on steam based on some of the uh, elements of the port they've actually updated the demo to improve the pc version we'll talk about that i did play the demo i did not have the issues a lot of other people had at least i didn't identify them Sometimes, you know, I'm not paying as close attention, but my frame rate was pretty good. And I had went into the demo expecting that there was going to be the element of the game was going to be very hard to run. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. Before we get into this video, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by InstantGaming.com, where you can get a lot of great games at great prices. A lot of deals on a variety of Steam titles, and in fact, they do have Black Myth Wukong in stock right now, a little bit cheaper. On top of Black Myth Wukong, you've got a lot of other great games discounted, whether it be upcoming games like Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, or some of the newest releases like Black Myth Wukong, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, or older titles like No Man's Sky, a lot of great deals to be had, check out the link in the description box below. First of all, there has been an update on Steam that is going to be very beneficial for those of you on Steam Deck. The On Deck Twitter account noted, Good morning, we've just shipped a new feature on Steam that shows when a customer review was written by someone who played primarily on Steam Deck. Keep an eye out for the deck icon to see how these players reviewed the game and let us know what you think. It's a pretty easy thing to identify. And I've seen this whenever I talk about deals. There is uh, a portion of you guys that really want me to be more adamant as far as and be just on, uh, you know, make it a habit as far as referencing whether or not the game is playable on the Steam Deck. I've been meaning to do that. Sometimes it takes me a little while to implement changes. I sometimes just forget. You guys got to like really drill home any changes you want to see on this channel. If you want me to do something differently, you can't be like nice about it. You need to drill it home. You need to call me like uh, uh, bro you you idiot go and uh, do this with the channel go mention this do this do that you guys gotta be a little bit critical with me i can't deal with that constructive criticism you know the constructive criticism can work uh from time to time i need the harsh criticism i need you guys to tear me down and then build me back up so we can do this together but uh no yes that is something i have been meaning to implement on the channel because there's so many people playing on the steam deck now uh steam deck verification and steam Steam Deck compatibility, I think, is a legit a selling factor to a lot of these games. And that's why I think something like Sony now requiring PlayStation Network account linking is going to really hamper them, and that's not something that's getting talked about as much. Obviously, as we're starting to port the more demanding games, the uh, Spider-Man 2s when that gets uh, ported, but Returnal, Ratchet, Rift Apart, games of that caliber... Um, you know, Rift Apart can actually run on the Steam Deck, so th that doesn't really uh, track. But Horizon Forbidden West, for example, that game really can't run on the Steam Deck. That game is just not going to be compatible regardless. But God of War Ragnarok, I don't know whether or not that would be Steam Deck compatible. Um... You know, but it's not going to have that verified checkmark for sure because it's going to require the account linking. That is a huge, huge blunder in my opinion. And obviously that tracks for other titles as well. Um, you know, you're just not going to have that verified label, which I just think is a real problem. But, you know, that's another point on a separate day. Uh, you know, Steam Deck, it's just crazy to see how much it has exploded in popularity. And I just see more and more of my friends uh, pick it up. And most of them have had a great time with it. And, you know, the deck is never going to be a platform that I'm going to pick up and try to play a game like Final Fantasy 16 on. It's impressive that you can run uh, games at that caliber, like Dead Space Remake, for example, is verified. Final Fantasy 16, from all accounts, looks like it has some issues on deck. And I don't think that's really going to be viable but you get the idea these super super demanding games that's really not what i'm looking for what i like about the deck is playing those older jrpgs indie games so on and so forth i just think it's a great avenue to play those games 
And those games obviously are not demanding whatsoever to run. But uh, yeah, great to see those improvements being made. Speaking of improvements being made, Final Fantasy 16. while I'm incredibly excited for the game to come to PC, given Square Enix's track record with their PC versions, uh, you know, there is obviously going to be a healthy level of skepticism and pessimism when it comes to any PC release coming from them. When it came to Final Fantasy 7 Remake and the last numbered entry of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15, 15 in particular, had a lot, a lot of issues. Final Fantasy 16, I played the demo. My experience was fine. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I thought the game ran uh, acceptable at an acceptable level. I wasn't meticulously breaking it down, but I had it um, at 4K maxed out, and it did dip to 35, you know, 30 frames per second around that range, and particularly that icon fight between Ifrit and the Phoenix. Ooh, that, that, that got a little rough, but I am playing it maxed out at 4K. I was more so of the mindset that, hey, this is an intensive game. It's a very pretty game, so you know, the frame rate's gonna dip a little bit, but other people have had a lot of other issues. Now, an update has been released for the Final Fantasy 16 PC demo available on Steam and the Epic Game Store, introducing a number of improvements and adjustments to the game. Improvements have been made to DLSS, FSR, and XCSS quality. That should help uh, to alleviate various graphical issues such as blurring and pixelation. Dynamic resolution being locked on the lowest setting, enemies not appearing properly in certain battle content, graphics not displaying properly on certain stages, graphical tearing in certain instances when using borderless Screen mode, SFX not playing properly under certain conditions, UI not displaying properly under certain conditions, screen resolution changing under certain conditions, rare instances of GPU crashes, other minor issues as well. We are currently aware of instances of stuttering in cer on certain PC environments and are investigating the issue. You know what? This is an area where offering a demo is so advantageous because guess what games didn't have a demo? Last of Us Part 1 didn't have a demo. Star Wars Jedi Survivor didn't have a demo. Final Fantasy 16, because you're dropping the demo, you're already opening the floodgates for a lot of people to check out the demo and criticize it and offer their constructive feedback as far as that's concerned. Now Square Enix can go and make the necessary improvements and hopefully refine the game so by the, by the time September 17th rolls around, It'll be at a far better state. It is a Square Enix PC port. I know that the team had been working on it and refining it for quite a bit, but I have to keep my expectations in line. I don't expect this to be at the quality level of, let's say, a Nix's PC port. Um, you know, I just don't think Square Enix, as far as their PC porting uh, talent level goes, is just at that level. But can they drop something suitable? Can they drop something that is acceptable? Yeah, I do think they can, and I think it is such a great idea to drop demos so people can at least give feedback well before a game comes out and it's a demo that you know you got a month of lead time and hopefully that'll give Square Enix enough time to make the necessary changes to make this a proper PC version you know, I would love to be in a world where these games come out, you know, with parity with consoles, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime in the near future. That is always going to be one of my main criticisms as far as Square Enix's release strategy uh, with their top tier games. Hopefully that changes with Kingdom Hearts 4. I know that won't change with Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 3, but it is what it is, as they say. But that'll do it for me against Steam Deck. For those of you on that platform, nice little update as far as the interface goes with reviews, so you can see who's playing on deck. And Final Fantasy 16, try out the demo, you guys. Even if you're not a fan of Final Fantasy, this is the game that I had a friend that has no care about JRPGs, no care about Final Fantasy. FF16 was the first one he played, and he thought it was Game of the Year last year, and uh, he was very, very high on it. Um, I had him circle back and play Final Fantasy VII Remake, and he absolutely hated that game, so, you know, it is what it is, as again, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I would recommend everybody to at least give it a shot. That's gonna do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.